We've all heard of the chain of command. Usually people think of the term in the context of military, corporate, and government power structures. But in reality, all of modern society is implicated. The chain of command sounds powerful, and it imbues the officers, the bureaucrats, and the petty dictators of the world with a sense of importance and rank. But the term is accepted, and behind it is an open secret, hiding in plain sight. Power does not flow from the person who administers orders. A command is inconsequential if it's ignored or laughed at. Obedience is the real foundation of misplaced power. It is in fact the chain of obedience, not the chain of command. The cumulative force of cowardly and compliant citizenry which allows evil men to take control. <laughs> Hello. My name is Montague William III. And what I will tell you may well sound absurd, but the less who believe it, the better for me. For you see, I'm in banking and a big industry. For many a year we have controlled your lives, while you all just struggle and suffer in strife. We created the things that you don't really need, your, your sports cars and fashions and plasma TVs. I remember it clearly how all this begun. Family secrets from father to son. Inherited knowledge that gives me the edge while you pe people lie sleeping at night in your bed. We control the money that controls your lives. Whilst you worship false idols and wouldn't think twice about selling your souls for a place in the sun, these things that won't matter when your time is done. But as long as they're there to control the masses, I just sit back and consider my assets, safe in the knowledge that I have it all, while you common people are losing your jobs. You see, I just hold you in utter contempt. But the smile on my face, well, it makes me exempt. For I have the weapon of global TV, which gives us connection and invites empathy. You would really believe that we look out for you, while we bankers and brokers are only a few. But if you saw that, you'd take back the power. Hence, daily terrors to make you all cower the panics, the crashes, the wars, and the illness that keep you from finding your spiritual wholeness. We rig the game, and we buy out both sides to keep you enslaved in your pitiful lives. So, go out and work as your body clock fades. And when it's all over, a few years from the grave, you'll look back on all this, and just then, you'll see that your life was nothing, a mere fantasy. There are very few things that we don't now control. To have lawyers and police force was always a goal, doing our bidding while you march on the street. But they never realize that they're only just sheep. For real power resides in the hands of a few. You voted for parties. <laughs> what more could you do? But what you don't know is they're one and the same. Old Gordon has passed good old David the reins, and you'll follow the leader who was put there by you. But your blood, it runs red, while our blood runs blue. But you simply don't see it's all part of the game. Another distraction, like money and fame, Get ready for wars in the name of the free, vaccinations for illness that will never be, the assault on your children's impressionable minds, and a microchipped world. You'll put up no fight. Information suppression will keep you in tow. Depopulation of peasants was always our goal. But eugenics was not what we hoped it would be. 
Oh yes, it was us that funded Nazis. But as long as we own all the media too, what's really happening does not concern you. So just go on watching your plasma TV and the world will be run by the ones you can't. It may be true that we have a demented pack of inbred maniacs running the world right now, but they aren't the ones that I fear. I fear the conditioned masses, which would put me to death with the drop of a hat if the right order is given. I fear the herd of well-meaning idiots, which believe that written law and authority is to be followed at all cost, even at the expense of self-evident morality. The death squads and the concentration camps of history were never staffed by rebels and dissidents. They were run by those who followed the rules. The problem isn't the chain of command. The problem is the chain of obedience.